Hey, what's up, ladies and gentle tubers? My name is Tyler. Today we are going to disassemble the uh, Sony FDR uh, X3000. I just barely got this camera. It's fairly new, so I hope that this helps you. Now, my goal is actually never to use the waterproof case underwater. I'm going to be using it on my helmet camera, and Sony has very wisely uh, switched their uh, case and camera design from having the mic jack uh, under the clasp here on the older models um, to the back of the camera. That means that I just have to drill out a little hole right here and then I can uh, plug my microphone into my camera and uh, do moto vlogs with a full protected case with a lens protection as well. Here's what we'll start by doing. Uh, first of all, let's uh, unlock the little latch here on the back and pull that open. We're gonna pull the battery out by slipping this little blue thing right here. We're gonna pull that back. The battery comes right out. And then uh, we'll remove the micro XD card from in there. And we'll just put those away to the side. And then we'll get to work. And I'll bring over a bowl. These little, little tiny screws are very small, so you wanna be very uh, delicate. And this is a um, mini Phillips head screwdriver. So first things first, we'll remove this uh, tiny little screw on the bottom right here. Now we will remove two screws uh, right in here, right there and right there on either side of this little latch thing right here. The reason why I'm doing this, by the way, is, is because if I want to drill out a hole and put a, a microphone through there, uh, this door has to be removed. So this, I'm going to remove this door. You can remove this door, then there's this uh, little black case thing right here. Pull that out, and then uh, this will also pop out after that's out. And then, and you can simply pull it apart like that, okay? Uh, and now, um, we have access to this uh, rear door, and we can just uh, pop that through, like that. So the rear door is gone, yay. And uh, this is the tricky part, putting it back together. Here's what you wanna do very, very first, otherwise this battery door is gonna give you a hard time. So take your battery door and uh, pop it on. Like that. And you'll see that this little wire, uh, little wire holder, door holder on the inside is now wrapped around a little nub in there. It's very hard to see, but that is a good thing. And then you wanna slide the camera in there uh, gently make sure that it's not getting caught up on anything. It should go fairly smoothly. <clears throat> there we go. Now, the reason why I did that battery door first is if you don't do that, this is a kind of a nightmare to get in there. So do the battery door first, and then it's just a matter of uh, putting things back where they go. So uh, you're going to want to get this little bottom door for your SD card and uh, pop that in and just go ahead and pop it on, that way it's not flopping around. Then uh, grab this little black piece right here and uh, slide that in. Now the top of the black piece goes under the screw hole up in the top. And then uh, everything's pretty much back together and all we need to do is uh, insert the screws. Make sure that this top one is uh, tightened down really well, otherwise your battery door won't close. I mean, not tightened down really well, just make sure it's all the way in. These don't need to be tight. Uh, just basically go until there's resistance. There you go. So the camera is all back together other than that uh, pesky back door. I've got a nice uh, little place to uh, drill my hole and put my microphone jack into. Alright you guys, once you have the back cover off you can see that it's really easy to uh, uh, drill your hole for your mic jack and uh, I'll show you how that plugs in on my uh, helmet real quick. Okay guys, so as you can see, here's my helmet, and uh, the way that I do my mounting is a little bit different than most. Um, it's kind of like uh, what you've seen with the ProShot mount, except for I was doing my mount way before ProShot did their mount. Uh, if they got their idea from me, that's awesome, because many, many people are very happy with their mounts. Um, but mine is just one-sided, and it gets a uh, kind of torpedo-shaped camera like the Sony um, to get close to the front of your helmet. So, uh, what we've done is this is called a 3M dual lock. And uh, you can see it kind of has that uh, Velcro-y shape. It's like super Velcro. 
and I've done a couple videos detailing this before, but this is a piece of aluminum that I've bent specifically uh, to contour this helmet. Uh, it was easy with a vise and a, and a pair of pliers, basically. Just click this onto here. And you might be thinking, oh, is Velcro strong enough? Uh, this isn't Velcro, it's dual lock, and it's extremely strong. Uh, so that's clicked on, and then I also have some dual lock on uh, the side of my camera there. And uh, it's easy, just line it up, and looks good about there. Click that on. Uh, so that's how it mounts on there. And then uh, I have my microphone coming out the back and I simply plug that in and uh, now I'm ready to uh, do some moto vlogs or whatever I need to do. Uh, hopefully this helps you out, helps you uh, mount it to your helmet in a good way. Uh, make sure that uh, your eye line is uh, straight with the camera so your camera's not facing down or up. And then uh, do your best to bend this piece of aluminum so that the camera is straight up and down uh, with the helmet. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, much love to all of you. Ever ride out.